Hi everyone, I'm Leanne the Barefoot Medium and I wanted to come and do a short video for you today around how you can work with a pendulum to be able to receive guidance and insight as well as for healing for self or between yourself and others. So when we are moving through life we can experience blocks, challenges, problems, we can come across resistance or even fear of stepping forward or stepping into what it is that we're wanting whether we feel like we're not worthy or whether there's some insecurities or uncertainty sitting there so it's really important to be able to identify and be clear about what it might be that needs to be transformed or shifted or changed so that you can step forward and step into what it is that you're wanting to create in your life or manifest in your life. Now this is a pendulum that I thought I would come on and give you an example of. You can also work with um, a piece of jewellery, anything with a weight or a bob on the end. So this is just a necklace that I have that you could work with as well. When working with your pendulum, the very first thing to do is to just intuitively find what is known as your holding spot or your sweet spot on the chain or the wire or the cord, whatever it is you're using, where you intuitively want to hold the pendulum. So that's the first thing. We then need to program it to the yeses, the noes and the maybes. So I'm just going to do that by simply asking the pendulum to show me a yes. Okay, so this particular pendulum wants to go anti-clockwise for a yes. Stop. I'm going to ask the pendulum to show me a no. And you'll notice that it's now spinning in a circular motion in a clockwise direction. So we want to do a no as a clockwise for this one. Stop. We now want to ask the pendulum to show us a maybe. And you can notice it's simply going back and forwards. Okay. And stop. So we have a yes, no or a maybe from the pendulum. So now that you're clear on how your pendulum swings and what the yeses are, what the noes are, what the maybes are, you can start asking your higher self, spirit, universe, your guides for information or clarity around particular areas of your life. And so we must do that using really clear and direct questions and specific questions that require a simple yes, no or a maybe answer. So start testing it by simply asking, is my name Leanne? Got to know that's rather interesting from this pendulum. <laughs> so let's stop. Is my name Leanne? There we go. I now have a yes. So I just cleared some energy in the pendulum to um, connect with me rather than the high self or guides that were coming through for that. So, yes, okay. Am I doing a video right now? Stop. So, see how we need to make sure it's in that standing position? Am I doing a video right now? And we have a yes. Okay, great. Just doing some checking questions to make sure that the pendulum is working from the highest truth from spirit from your intuitive guidance and your highest guides to bring through that divine truth and insight that you need. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate using a pendulum today for this video to clear or heal or move through any blockages that might be sitting there. So I want to ask some questions around and, and take out your own pendulum and work with me on it. Are there any blocks around the headspace or the logical mind? And just allow the pendulum to swing. So that's a no. Stop. 
Are there any blocks around the heart space? Once again, it's spinning clockwise, so that's a no. And stop. Are there any blocks around the gut or the stomach? And we've got a really big no. <laughs> so that's a bonus. All right. Is there any resistance that needs to be let go of right now? Wow. So that's a big yes. Okay. Is that resistance in the head? Maybe. Okay. So I need to ask some more questions and get director. Is the resistance around ideas? Yes. Okay. So am I willing to let go of all resistance around ideas and creativity from the headspace? And just allow it to clear. There we go. And so that's clear. The pendulum's now confirming with a yes that that's clear. Okay, is there more resistance to be cleared? Yes. Okay. Is there a still resistance in the headspace? Maybe. Okay. Is there resistance around creativity? Yes. Okay. Am I willing to consciously let go and allow creativity to flow? Cancel, clear, delete that. Perfect. And then we've got the yes. Okay. Is there more resistance in the headspace? Yeah, so that's a maybe. Is there more resistance around wisdom and knowledge? Okay. Is there resistance to allowing new wisdom and knowledge coming in? Mm. So see how I'm asking simple yes, no, or maybe questions. Okay, so am I willing to let go of all resistance created in this present moment in the past, in um, future, across all dimensions, across all space, across all lifetimes, here and now, here and now, here and now. And there we get it swinging to a yes, it's all cleared. Okay, so you can see all I'm doing is really asking direct and clear questions and then allowing myself to intuitively connect with spirit and my guides and loved ones passed over to really ask for clarity, guidance and, and support to clear and heal and to shift through any blocks or resistance. Now, the headspace is all around ideas, creativity, wisdom and knowledge. The heart space is around love, compassion and joy. And the gut or the stomach is around attraction, procreation, courage, action taking, or even physical touch and that's sexuality or sensuality. So work with your pendulum for healing and ask yourself questions if there's confusion, overwhelm, going blank or overthinking that's a block in the headspace or something that needs shifting or clearing if you're feeling unmotivated lethargic or apathy or even anger there's some issues around the heart space that need shifting and healing in the gut or the stomach if you're feeling nauseous or like your stomach's churning or that dizzy feeling in your stomach and just uh, something doesn't sit well, then there's blocks or changes that need to be made there or transformations. So work with a pendulum. They're really beautiful and amazing ways to support you in your personal professional development. And for those of you interested in developing your psychic and mediumship abilities, Pendulums are beautiful ways to be able to support you in the question asking that you need when you're working with mediumship and looking at the who, what, why, how and where of who you're communicating with in the spirit realms. So enjoy. I hope this video helps and hit the thumbs up or comment below and let me know how you go with your pendulum work. Bye guys.